Over 40 million people in seven states depend on the Colorado River system, including Arizona, which gets about 36% of its water from the Colorado rivers. But the amount of water in the river has been steadily declining over the past two decades, being below the average this whole century. This diminishment of our river systems is a problem for agriculture as it uses most of the water in the state irrigating crops and livestock. After agriculture, municipal use like tap water or cooking is the next greatest, followed by industrial use such as processing or diluting using the least. While teens may not directly be able to reduce agriculture or city water use, we can influence it. One such way is cutting down the amount of meat we eat. Some other ways to help cut back on water usage is by reducing outdoor water use and reduce on water habits. Reclaimed water is recycled wastewater that we convert into purified water that can be reused for other things like agriculture or stored as groundwater. Using reclaimed water is a great way to reduce on water usage from the Colorado River. Although, being more expensive than using natural sources, reclaimed water is still cheaper than saltwater distillation, which might become an option if we keep straining the rivers. These issues will not only affect us now, but will also greatly affect future residents of Arizona. By staying thirsty now, we're making them have to conserve more and use less water, and possibly even have larger cutbacks than what we will have now. Right now, Arizona's contingency plan is to make cutbacks on our annual use of water by 6.9%. The plan will take place in 2020 through 2026. This will not only affect Arizona, but the entire lower basin will be making cutbacks like Utah, California, and Nevada. These changes won't do much to affect us, but they will directly affect agricultural businesses. Even with these plans, there are things each person can do in our daily lives to help reduce strain on the Colorado River. There are the obvious things you can do, such as shorter showers, turning off the faucet when brushing or washing hands, making sure clothes and dishwashers are full every time, but those don't do as much as needed. Use a broom instead of a hose to clean off sidewalks and driveways. Swap out shower heads with low flow shower heads, which use two or less gallons a minute, or low flow sink aerators, which use one gallon or less a minute at full blast. Those are often cheap at your local hardware store and easy to install. If you or your family has a lawn that is hardly ever used, tear it out and replace it with rock and cactus landscape, something that doesn't need much time, attention, or water, and can mostly take care of itself. Most of our water use comes from how the things we use or eat are made. One thing that you could do is cut back on meat. It takes 660 gallons of water to produce one hamburger. If you cut that out, you just save 660 gallons of water. Purchase thrift or used clothing, as making clothes is incredibly water insensitive. Manufacturing and mining uses a lot of water, so recycling already made materials reduces water needed to make new goods. Pretty much cutting back on anything will likely save water use somewhere.